Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to use your laptop as a gaming display for your gaming consoles. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is a, uh, a gaming console. The first one is here is my Xbox 360. The second thing you're going to need is a, um, a decent computer with some decent specs. This is a, uh, a Dell Inspiron E1505. It has a gig of memory and a 1.73 gigahertz processor. It does okay. It's not great, but it does the job. The next thing you're going to need is a USB video capture device like this. This is the EasyCap video capture card. It has a S video end and the two audios with S video here. And the third thing you're going to need is a audio extender. So we have, this is a regular headphone jack, but at the end it has these three cables. Now usually it would pop with, the sound would come out with uh, the red and the white, but mine's messed up so it comes out with white and yellow. So, the first thing you're going to do is take your USB capture device and plug it into your computer. So we'll just plug that in through here. The little green light comes on. And then we're going to open up the software here, which is the ULEAD Video Studio. And then while that's loading, we're going to take our S video thing and we're going to take the outputs for the Xbox. So I got to plug this in real quick. Plug that in in the back here. And then take the S video cable. And plug it into this thing right here. Make sure yellow matches with yellow. And then, by that time, you should have the Video Studio software up and up and running. And then click the Video Studio Editor. And my computer is going to change here because it doesn't support. Um, Vista Home Premium. There it goes. It may take some time to load up. And here's the error message saying that it had to change the color format to Home Basic. And then once that's loaded up, we're going to take, or at the top you should see a thing called Capture. So we're going to click Capture, and then we're going to click Capture Video. It may take a second to load up. And then for format, it doesn't really matter unless you're going to be actually recording your footage. But it should pop out with the SciTech STK1150 as your input source. So, as it's hooked up now, what we can do is, I can turn on my Xbox here. And then in that screen right there. So as you can see, the video off of my Xbox is now on my computer screen, and we can make this full screen as well. So 
The quality on it isn't perfect. There's obviously some uh, some deterioration in the video quality, but I mean, if you're looking at just using this as a you know like a lightly used thing, this is definitely kind of perfect. Um, I personally, I'm getting a LCD HD TV, so I'm gonna be plugging my Xbox into this. But I, for right now, I'm using my laptop screen. So let's test this out. Um, there isn't really any lag, which is nice. So. Again, the video quality isn't perfect, but it does its job, I guess. Now, I didn't plug in the sound, so that's why you're not hearing anything. So we'll just do a cussing game just for the heck of it. We'll start the game. The colors aren't, you know, they're not high definition in any way, but it's okay. Just say it, just to prove that there's not any lag here. Let's see, where's the light? Let me turn on the light again. Okay, so here's a lag test. And yeah, that's how you get to play a game console on your laptop. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you like this video. Thanks.